I gave up stacking call Silver Morgan dollars. And I can explain why. Hi, I'm Silverstruck, and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'd like to go over my decision to why I decided to stop stacking such an iconic coin. And to understand that, we first have to know what a call is. This is a great example of a call Morgan. As you can see from the date on the bottom, this is in 1899. Check out the wear on this coin. Lady Liberty is fairly worn, a lot of the detail is missing. It's not the worst of coins, but it's pretty worn. Now let's take a look at the reverse. And here on the reverse, we can see that it has a mint mark, and that mint mark at the bottom is an O. That stands for New Orleans. And New Orleans has not minted coins in quite some time. Matter of fact, the last Morgan that uh, New Orleans minted was in 1904. So that's pretty neat. But check out the condition of this coin. Look at the wings in the breast of the eagle. All that detail is worn off. This coin has lost its numismatic value. That's right. It's gone. And that's what a call is. This is a poor condition coin that's now traded only on its silver content. So why is that a problem? Let's go over the specifications of these coins. The Morgan dollar weighs 26.73 grams and contains 0.7734 troy ounces. It's a 90% silver and a 10% copper content in this coin. So essentially, what we're looking at here in a call Morgan is a 90% silver coin that is only three quarter of an ounce value. A little bit better than that, but for the purposes of math, let's call this a 90% three-quarter ounce coin. There's a big difference between stacking and collecting, and that's where you can run into trouble with the Morgans. The Morgans, to me, are more for collecting. If you can get them for a great price, sure, they're also for stacking. There's a couple different grades of coins to consider. We know what a call is now, a poor condition coin. There's actually worse than call. And there's a coin that's slightly better, and that coin would be something like this. There's a nice 1921, and you can see some nice detail in this coin. This coin has really good detail on the wings and on the breast of the eagle, and you can see it's in pretty good shape. No mint mark, so we know it's a Philadelphia. This is a BU. This is a brilliant uncirculated Morgan. And there's big price differences between some, something like this and a Morgan versus the call we just looked at. So let's compare these two and understand where we're at value-wise. So the call, which is the one on the left, that sells at my LCS today for about $32. You may be able to pick them up for less where you're at, or maybe more. Maybe the market's higher on that. The coin to the right, Brilliant Uncirculated, those can fluctuate anywhere from the in the 40s and 50s and, and, and higher, really. It's a little bit different of a market. So if the 90% three-quarter ounce Morgan sells for $32, and I wanted to stack silver, what else in the market would be $32? And the answer is this generic silver round. Here we have one troy ounce, three nines pure, silver generic round. And these can be found for $32 to $33 today. And that price is going to vary. Uh, the market varies. Uh, but... Today, you can buy this coin in the $32, $33 range. And you can, you can get that for the same rate, as I was pointing out, as this Morgan. A matter of fact, this Morgan is missing a quarter of an ounce. So if you divide 32 by 4, that gives you about $8. And you have to add $8 back in. So 8 plus 32 is $40. $40. So if this was three nines pure and a full ounce of silver, they would be asking $40 for this coin. The Morgan dollar is a little bit different in the sense that it has a lot of history behind it. Somebody in 1899 handled this coin, and it went from person to person. And that part is pretty neat, and you can't really really feel that in a, in a generic round, but you can definitely see it in a circulated coin. For the purposes of stacking, you're clearly going to be way ahead stacking a generic rounder bar versus a Cole Morgan. 
And that's why I've stopped. If you want to collect Morgans, that's a completely different subject. And I will show you a slab degraded Morgan, just as an example. Here we have an 1883 Carson City, graded by PCGS in Mint State 66 condition. And this coin is clearly beautiful. I like to collect blast white coins. The 1883 is an easier year Morgan to um, Carson City Morgan to own. Um, there are a lot harder and more expensive years. So in the easier years to, to own, I try to buy the highest grade coin I can afford. You can see that CC mint mark at the bottom. This coin's just in beautiful condition. And this is for collecting, not stacking. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Do you guys collect your stack Morgan dollars? If so, please leave a comment in the comment section. Consider liking and subscribing. I'd really appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed watching. Thank you.